Uh, it feels weird for sure, um, especially uh, turning right instead of left to the to the visitor Mike, side. Mike's um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this experience. Um, this place was a huge part of my life, um, and you know I'm just gonna enjoy it out there. What's the biggest memory you have walking back into this ballpark? So, man, just over the years, that, you know, um, everything, uh, the the opening of the ballpark, 2012, all the anticipation. Um, uh, hitting here when it was just construction uh, and see it, what it turned into and uh, you know to open it up and to be here now and that's all cool memories. What do you expect the fan response to be? Uh, I think it'll be good. Um, you know, I, I think it'll be a good response and uh, just just happy happy to have us down here. Happy to have you down here and um, you know it'll be great. I understand the nation. John Mattingly said there were no hard feelings on their part when you were traded. Is that how you felt? Absolutely. I mean, uh, the, the coaching staff, all of us, we, we grinded over there together hard. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we know what it took. We know what the situation is over there now and how it was. And, you know, we, we understand, you know, that they've been through it. And, uh, you know, I'm just happy to be here. You come in sitting on home run number 299. What would it be like to get the other thing? Uh, honestly, that would be really cool. Um, you know, I got uh, one and 200 over there. So, um, you know, it'd be really cool to be in the park to do it. What do you think of the home run sculpture from this angle? I still don't like it. No. But, uh, you know, if, if I, uh, it won't be going off if I hit one here, but it's all, it's all right. Have you had a chance to think about what might have been had you stayed and had the team stayed in time? Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, the thought was always there. And it's, uh, you know, we, we stressed it. I stressed it before. and. Uh, understand what it could have been, but uh, you understand what it is now and, and how things uh, pan out, and, and that's the way it goes. What's the adjustment been like to be in the spotlight on a team that maybe wasn't winning many games to being in the spotlight on a team that is winning and expected to win every game? Uh, it's been an adjustment for sure. I mean, it, it's, uh, it wouldn't have this um, over there, definitely, but I mean, um, but besides the, the outside noise, it's still, you, you got to um, handle your craft out there. And, Ready to go. I mean, it's still, still baseball at the end of the day. Dude, what was the difference starting off the season the way you started with the Yankees and starting it off the way you started with the Marlins? Uh, huge. You know, I've had I've had bad starts before, but uh, of course it's, it's much more magnified um, given everything that happened in my season last year and just uh, yeah, it well, wasn't ideal, but um, you know you got to push through and get out. Was it the same way to get out of it? What, what do you mean? Like the same way you got back on track? Oh, I mean, yeah, you just got to get back to basics, man. Focus and, and like I said, stay in between the lines and, and uh, just be well prepared. Miami 